All right, guys, go to Boy32 here, check in. Alice, we're sitting here in the Freedom Desk. I'm getting ready to lose all my light. My internet is out. I'm having to use the phone to upload all this stuff, and usually I would have these video clips downloaded so you could see them right here. This is not the case. So yesterday, there was a confirmation hearing for Merrick Garland. If you remember, he was tried to, or he was nominated by Obama to uh, the Supreme Court Justice. And uh, the Senate, thank God, they decided, no, we're not in the mood to go ahead and confirm anyone at this point in time. So close to the election, which they tried to play the bullshit role this time around. But you know what? Trump owed no one any favors because the Democrats were just not exactly the nicest people to him during his tenure as president. So anyway, let's go back. Uh, this new guy, Biden, uh, decided to go ahead and, as another thing, uh, bring someone from the past Obama administration into uh, his cabinet. And this is Merrick Garland uh, and his confirmation hearing uh, for the attorney general. Now, attorney general is the lead cop of the country. He's over the FBI, a lot of other uh, associations and firms. So the thing that is most important in this to us if you're watching this, is the Second Amendment and what he feels are uh, items that are important of the Second Amendment. Mike Lee, a senator, uh, drilled him at task. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play some of this stuff for you real quickly. I might move the camera in here so you can see it a little better here. Hold on. All right, here we go. I appreciate that. Let's talk a little bit about the meaning of the Second Amendment. How do you view it? And, and um, do you agree with uh, Justice Thomas's analysis in his dissent in the Rogers case that the Second Amendment right to bear arms certainly includes uh, the, the, the right to carry operable firearms uh, in public for self-defense? Very important question. And we need to know the answer to this because, guys, this is going to be the fight for our future rights. Here's his answer. Listen to this. So my view is, is totally controlled uh, by uh, the Heller opinion. Um, and uh, in that case, Justice Scalia held that there was an individual right uh, to keep and uh, bear arms uh, for self-defense. Uh, in the subsequent McDonald case, the court said that was a fundamental right, uh, which applied uh, to the states as well. Um, it is a right, uh, as Justice Scalia said in the opinion, like all rights that is subject to some uh, limitations. Subject to some limitations. You know, there's a thing called some limitations, but for a Democrat like this guy right here, that means limitations to their fullest extent. Continue listening. This gets better. And we're losing light. So let's talk about policy as it relates to the Second Amendment briefly. Okay, so we're talking about policy, getting ready to jump into a really cool deal because this is where Merrick Garland really shows his true colors and where you and I really need to have some concern. Here we go. you support universal background checks? Well, I, I do think um, that it's very important um, that uh, we be careful that people who are entitled to have gun. There's the first mistake. People who are entitled to have guns. See, here's the whole thing. Their, full, their, their, their whole deal is, is that health care is a right, where they think the Second Amendment is an entitlement, and that's where they get, they're, they're totally wrong. I'm sorry for the camera going in and out of focus. I don't have any light. So here, stand by. But the entitlement, this is it, this is it. This is what it's all about. Those who are entitled, and it goes further. Stand by. Guns uh, are, are, um, get the background check that allows them to have them. Uh, allows them. The government allows you. And here again is their second mistake. They are losing the whole premise for the Second Amendment that it shall not be infringed. Uh, and that those who are not entitled and uh, who are we, are we are concerned about because they're threats, because of felon, they're felons, or for whatever reason barred by the law, that we have, uh, that there is an opportunity uh, to determine uh, that uh, uh, they not be given a gun. Do you, do you support banning specific types of guns? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do you support banning the banning of, of certain types of firearms? Well, uh... Yeah. Why not? It's part of the policy. It's all about what Joe Biden wants right now. And of course, if it's part of his policy, then there should be room in order to go ahead and do that. Hold on, watch. 
as I'm, I'm sure you know, uh, the president um, is a strong supporter of gun control and has been an advocate uh, all of his life. Uh, That's because he's been surrounded by people who have firearms who are there to protect him. Jackass has never been anywhere in his entire life, and he's probably never held anything actually a, like a real firearm. Not skeet shooting, Joe, the real deal. Uh, his professional life on this question. The role of the Justice Department is to advance the uh, policy program of the administration as long as it is consistent with the law. Um, and as I said so far, we have a little uh, indication from the Supreme Court as to, to what this means, uh, but we don't have a, a, a complete uh, indication. This is one of those big important reasons why we hold the majority in the Supreme Court and the majority of those individuals who are on our side believe in the Second Amendment. Um, and uh, where there is room under the law for the president's uh, policies to be pursued, then I, I think the president is entitled to pursue them. Where there's room under the law. Well, if you keep changing the law, there's always going to be room. But there's one thing that you cannot change, and that is our Second Amendment and our Bill of Rights. Unless it's something that's just so important to you. Let's continue. What about policies that would uh, support holding firearms manufacturers liable for damage caused by people using firearms they produce uh, to commit a, a crime? This is one of my biggest things, and I, I know that if they are able to go ahead and get rid of the uh, Commerce Act, they, they will put companies out of business because every lawyer in this country will jump on this opportunity. You know it's true. I don't have a, I, I, I believe that the, the president may have a position on this uh, question. I have not thought myself deeply about this. And that's it. So anyway, I'm not going to, well, it's getting really dark in here. Isn't it funny? So anyway, I'm not going to uh, bore you guys with the rest of it, but I just wanted to play this for you. Let me know what your thoughts are down below, man. Merrick Garland, he is a decisively not a very 2A friendly individual. Good Lord, if we can. All right. So anyway, with that being said, guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform who support our Constitution and our Bill of Rights as it was written by our founding fathers and not interpreted by somebody like this. Because if he had his way, we'd be using, oh, I don't know, slingshots. Let's go to Boy 32. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.